Hi, I'm Justin, and today I'm here to talk to you about the different types of camp beds available so you can choose the right one for your outdoor adventures. Getting a good night's sleep when you're camping or hiking is important, and with the right bed, you can sleep easy. There are a few things to consider when choosing the right bed for you, and these can be broken down into five areas. There are four main types of camp bed, and which one you choose depends on what's important to you. Sleep mats are the lightest, most compact and easiest to set up, so they're great when you're hiking, backpacking and going to festivals. Fold out beds and stretchers keep you off the ground while you sleep, so you can be away from gravel, bugs and damp ground. You can store things below them to save space in your tent, and the airflow underneath keeps you cooler in summer. Air beds can be self-inflating, or you can inflate them yourself with a battery pump or foot pump. They're compact when they're deflated, so they're easy to store and carry. Hammocks are best suited to longer camping trips or places where you need to drive. And who doesn't love taking a nap in the middle of the day while swinging in a hammock? For some trips, especially when you're hiking, you'll want a bed that's easy and quick to set up and pack down. For others, you can spend a little longer setting up a more complex, sturdy bed. Roll-out foam mats and self-inflating mats are the quickest and easiest to set up, while stretches take the longest. Choose the size of bed that's right for you and the people you're travelling with. Some beds are heavier than others. Stretcher beds are heavy and take time to set up, so are best when you're travelling by car and camping in one place, while air beds are more compact when they're stored, so they're great for hiking and backpacking. If you want a couple of people to sleep on the same bed, look at the weight limit. Some double stretchers can carry up to 200 kilos, but some carry less, so it's always good to be sure. The materials a bed is made from determines how waterproof and long-lasting it'll be. When you're looking at the fabric, check the D rating. This stands for denier and shows you how thick the material is. Fabrics with a higher D rating are more waterproof and durable, but also weigh more than fabrics with a lower D. If you're going to be camping when it's wet, canvas and polyester are the most waterproof options. And if you're camping in the heat of summer, you want a bed that's breathable, so look for canvas or cotton. How sturdy a folding bed's frame is will determine a few things. How much weight it can bear. Thicker legs are sturdier but also heavier. Whether it wobbles when you toss and turn. For a more stable frame, look for legs that cross over each other. How long the bed will last. Aluminium frames are lighter than steel, but steel is stronger so it will last longer. If you go with steel, choose one that's powder coated and rust resistant. When you're weighing up which bed to buy, think about quality versus cost. If you don't travel often and just need a bed a couple of times a year, you can get away with something lighter and cheaper. But if you go camping all the time, it's worth purchasing a bed that's more durable. If you have any questions about which camp beds to choose, chat with one of our team members in store or go online to anacondastores.com. Mm -hmm.